Hey everybody, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead. How are you all doing? So, I figured I would take you along while I make some garlic butter chicken. I got this recipe from Don't Go Bacon My Heart online. It's a dot co dot uk. But they have some fabulous recipes. So, why don't you come along? We'll make some garlic butter chicken and then I'm going to make some rice to go with it because I'm going to have some of my chicken stock. So I'm going to use that with my rice. So come along, guys. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. All right, so I have very limited space because I did some pressure canning, as you can all see over here. I have my jars. So I don't have much space. I'm just going to have to... Then I drop my salt right down here, and it's all in a pile. Not happy. So in a shallow dish... This is not shallow. Have a shallow dish. <sighs> I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of flour. Wish I had a bigger kitchen. Hopefully, when the house gets paid off, I can get a bigger kitchen. It's a fourth of a cup. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Oh, and a teaspoon of salt. and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Stir all that up. Stirred up. Okay, so we have to. I cut the chicken breasts into halves so that I could get two pieces out of one. I'm going to dredge them in this flour mixture. Okay, I'm going to shake off any extra and put that on a plate and put it aside. And I'm going to continue doing that with all the chicken pieces that I have here. Just to get them coated. These were supposed to be chicken breasts, but the way they cut them at the butcher, they were just odd shapes. It looked like the breast just kind of fell apart. Okay, so I'm just using all the pieces. I don't ever have good luck with coating meat. 
Never really do. But we will do our best. Well, they could use a, few, a little more mixture. But I'm going to just make do with what I got here. Shake that out, put that aside, rinse my hands. And get back to the next step. So now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. So let me get tablespoon of butter. So this is going to have more chicken than what, there was supposed to be two pieces cut. So I'm just going to put a little, it's got a few more pieces of chicken. So I'm just going to put extra, extra, a uh, little bit extra butter than a whole tablespoon. Then I'm going to take some olive oil. Put that in there. Let me see if I can move the camera. Get you in a little bit more. Let's see here. I have like no space, guys. No space. So I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this up a little more. Ah, uh, there we go. Can y'all see that? Let's see. Sorry about all the moving. <laughs> Alright. So I got this on medium heat. When it's hot enough, I'm gonna add the chicken breast and fry until golden on each side. About three to five minutes depend um, on each side and I'll bring you back okay so this recipe calls for a half a cup of chicken stock so I got my pressure canned here um, so I'm gonna take a half a cup out I'm gonna put that off to the side. The rest, I've added three cups of uh, rice here. So I'm gonna do the rest in here. I've never done this before. I've always made rice in my rice cooker by itself, but I figured I'm just gonna throw this in the oven. I'm not gonna get my rice cooker going. And um, we shall see. I add a little bit more water. Just make sure I have enough water in here. Got the oven preheating, so that's going to go in the oven. Now this is heating up, so what we're going to do is we're going to add 
add in our chicken. Get it a little higher. Let's see if you guys can see that. I have like no room tonight, guys, because I have all my canning jars on the all my canning jars on the um, counter here. So we're going to get all this chicken in here. Probably not hot enough. Things are going a little sideways today. Alright, I'm going to do that batch first. So that's going to cook three to five minutes and we'll bring you back. Alright guys, so I just flipped the chicken over, you can see it's a nice golden color. So I'm going to let this go for three to five minutes and we'll bring you back. Alright, so I took out the chicken, it's all taken out here, I'm going to set that aside. Now. I'm going to turn down the heat to medium. I am going to add the garlic. It says two cloves. Turn down the heat. Fry for one to two minutes. going to add in the stock. Stir that around. And we're going to use the spoon to just make sure there's nothing stuck to the pan and there's nothing. Then I'm going to add in five tablespoons of butter. says to whisk so um, it so that it can bind to the stock so we're gonna get it all whisked up there and it will be a, a light slightly cloudy now my butter was a little firm because I had it in the fridge it's melting down rice. Hopefully the rice comes out, guys. I kind of eyeballed the liquid. So usually I use my rice cooker for the rice, so we shall see. So we're whisking. It's coming out cloudy. Now we're going to add some parsley. salt and pepper keep whisking I'm gonna let it simmer to thicken for veggies. So, I'm going to run down and get some veggies. Alright, so now I'm going to add the chicken back in. I'm going to 
gonna just put all the pieces back in. So we're going to add the chicken in, turn down the heat to low, spoon the sauce over, then serve up. So gonna, I took some green beans, that's what we're going to have with it, with the rice. I'm going to find a spoon. And just kind of drizzle the sauce over chicken God it smells really good gonna let that cook until the rice is done in about 20 minutes and we'll bring you back all right so the rice did not come out in the oven I got it in there going a little bit longer it doesn't look like it had enough time to cook so I put some rice in the instant pot pressure cook for eight minutes that way I know I should have done that from the beginning but you know live and learn Okay, so we're going to bring you around. There you go. The chicken at least looks fabulous. And I have some green beans here. So we've got some green beans that are done cooking. We're going to let this sit on low. Just until uh, I'm going to put it on low and I'll bring you back when the rice is done. So I put the, the rice back in and it actually cooked up so it came out. Yay! Now we have that rice and that rice. All right, Lazarus home. This is the garlic chicken. And the Looks rice. Like fresh out of the oven. It is. <laughs> is it good? Oh, yeah. Good food. I made his plate so there's normal size servings of the rice. <laughs> Yeah, I have a problem with the rice. <laughs> he has a problem with serving sizes in general of all foods. Well, chicken's a good thing to have. Yeah, it's a good. How's the butter sauce? Good. Is it? All right. Okay, no chicken left. <laughs> no chicken, no green beans, plenty of rice. Not really much white rice, but now the kids can have some for lunch tomorrow after school.